at Silly Cone Baby. And Baby Dutchie's here to say hi. Long time no see. All right, cool. He is here in Arizona with us. We have been traveling in the west part of the country, southwest part. We've been in Arizona and California. We came through New Mexico and Texas and all that from Oklahoma. And we haven't been doing a lot of videos, as you know. So I just wanted to do a video for you today. And I'm going to go ahead and first wet his hair because he needs a little bit of a hairdo repair. He, he's doing okay with it. I just want to, I only have a brush brush, blush brush, and I'm just going to run it through his hair to kind of wet it because I don't want it to be real frizzy. It's so dry here that he needs a little moisture in his hair. There might be a little conditioner in here too. I'm just using a spray bottle and I'm just spraying it in. Just a little spritzer there. And he looks so cute. I haven't seen him in a little while since the last video of him. You can look back at the last video I did of him. I'll go ahead and put an insert of that video at the end of this one. You can click on it. But his name is Dutchie. Dutch Esben. And he's a preemie. He's made by Corneli Bayou. And um, he has a tiny little opening for a pacifier in his mouth and he can take a little preemie bottle and he also has a little tongue I wanted to show you if I can show you his little tongue I have paint on my hand but there's his tongue <laughs> we've been painting I'll give you a little sneak peek at the color but it's an aqua it's really pretty back in the bedroom it kind of matches these little elephants yeah it does yeah you're gonna match our bedroom yeah and he's got pretty blue eyes and they're open eyes with glass blue eyes. It's kind of hard to tell. That, there we go. That's a better picture. But he's got little open hands. He's even got this little preemie t-shirt button up or snap up t-shirt. But and it's even too too big. But you know, it works. And I have a little, he is very shiny. He does need powdering. So let me get the baby powder and I can do that as well. So one thing you want to do when you have a silicone baby is you want to powder it because it gets shiny. And he's a good example, as you can see on his legs and always on his chin. So they're not matted very well. They're going to get shiny. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of baby powder out. Oh, let me make a point. You have to use the um, cornstarch baby, baby powder. You do not want to use talc. No talc. And you just take one of these. This was wet with his hair for from doing his hair, but I dried it off. And now I'm just going to touch the shiny pot spots with the baby powder. It's going to take the shiny parts away. And if it doesn't, the first time, just add more. And you can only do what you can do. Because, they're, like I said, the matting didn't adhere to some spots. And that keeps them shiny. And that's something you want to avoid. Because it makes them look not real, even more so, if they have shiny spots. I mean, maybe they put shiny spots on his chin to make him look like he's drooling. But I prefer just the dull skin, not the shiny the matted look like a real baby and his knees and he's pretty pretty well matted so I'm not real worried about the rest of him he's covered up and he's he's pretty well matted I don't think he's I think he's pretty realistic as far as his skin tone and stuff and he's from the Netherlands so he's got like the blonde hair and the little blue eyes and the fair skin He's my little sweetheart. He's such a sweetheart. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you him with a bottle. And we're going to give him a little feed. Because babies get hungry. You know babies get hungry. So let's get your bib, little guy. <laughs> I'm using this tiny little baby bib. It's kind of girly. But I think it's better than getting his clothes all wet. And I brought a 
bunch of girl stuff because I have more girls with me than boys <laughs> on this trip to Arizona. So let's go ahead and put his bottle in. Sometimes I'll put powder on the nipple to get it in his mouth. So I'll show you how I do that. Just dip the nipple in a little bit and get it coated lightly. <sighs> Blow a little bit of it off. I don't want his mouth full of powder, but he's got a tiny little mouth, so you have to kind of work it in. And usually I need two hands. All I did was just lower his bottom jaw and spin the nipple like this, and it went right in. So he's fully taking the bottle nipple, and he's drinking. Pretend drinking. Of course, he's just a silicone. He's not real, so it's just for pretend. Yes. And he's enjoying his bottle. He's sucking his bottle. See? Yeah. Just pushing it back and forth to make... Uh-oh! He spit it out! He says, I'm done! All done! All done! No more, Mama. But after you feed a newborn, you have to burp them. Just throw him over on his side and pat his little back. Pat his back. Get a good burp out of him. There we go. Now he wants to be wrapped, swaddled, and held, and just cooed and cawed. So let's lift him up. There we go. Now I'm going to leave his bib on him for a few minutes in case he does any spitting up because he just ate. Yes. And there's baby Dutch husband. And that's how you take care of a silicone baby when you're feeding him. Or her and then at this point I would probably take a little pacifier and see if I could get him to take that and kind of soothe him while he digests his food I only have a few pacifiers with me and I see that one of them is a wee thumby which is the kind that I really like to give him because it's a tiny little preemie nipple and that's what kind of mouth he has that's what he has is a preemie so let's make sure I do have I believe a uh, I've got a phone call. Let me put this on hold. Sorry, I had to answer the phone. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to insert his pacifier. This is just a preemie pacifier, which is perfect for his mouth. In fact, I could even do that with one hand, so that worked out. But this is called a wee thumby, and it's good for the tiny little mouths. Because he, like I showed you before, he has a tiny mouth. So it is able to take a pacifier in a tiny bottle. Oh, let me show you the bottle. This is something I actually got on eBay many, many years ago when I first started my channel. And it, it has some fake milk that somebody has made and it actually has a um, leak. So I probably got that in his mouth. And they, I'm guessing they made with this with either um, magic milk or formula you know a little drop of vanilla with some water something like that but it's just like it's supposed to look like a baby formula and i don't think it's real baby formula because it doesn't smell like it. it doesn't smell like anything except for like baby powder but you can make your own fake milk i have videos on that if you want to type it in on my channel how to make fake milk for baby um you can actually just mix in some water and drop some baby powder in it, shake it real well, and then pour it right out when you're done. Make sure your bottle is sealed. But um, we love you so much, and we're so glad you're watching our channel and supporting our channel by watching our videos and commenting and sharing our videos. We hope to see you again soon in another video. I believe what I'll do next in my next video is post of my silicone pug puppy. Everyone really likes seeing him. So um, that Jasmine and I say, we'll see you soon, guys. Thank you for watching. Silicone Baby. Mwah.